Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light, and today I'll do a general coffee cup reading for your overall energies. This reading is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Libra. So if you have any of those in your chart, it might actually resonate with you. I will also leave a link up here and in the description box below. If you would like a private reading, you can go ahead and check those one out from there okay and uh, i also want to thank you for being here and being an amazing supporter channel and if you haven't already don't forget to hit subscribe and become a member of this beautiful soul community and give some love subscription is free you can unsubscribe anytime you want let's jump into your reading and let's see what is coming your way this time around, I'm doing this giant coffee cup reading for you. What do I see? I see there's a conversation happening between you and somebody else. This person has maybe like a bird on top of their head. This can be someone that you haven't been talking to for a while that they're going to be approaching to you. They're going to want to have a conversation with you. And I see that you are actually merging together with this person this can be someone who really wants to connect and um maybe they've been holding this off for a while and this person's mesmerized by you okay and uh they really want to be around you they want to connect with you but they might be a little afraid but now they're gonna gather up their courage and walk okay they're gonna come towards you this can be someone you have some sort of like a distance in between, but they're going to want to close that distance, okay? Because I feel there's a pathway here opening. Like they might be a little far away, but they're going to find a way to close that distance, okay? Uh, they're finally going to like uh, put together that courage or maybe if they were actually having a hard time in their life, they're bringing it back together and they're going to approach you this time, okay? I see here there is actually a powerful person who's wearing horns. Kind of reminds me of the um, Taurus energy, the Hierophant energy. This person can be a Taurus, but this can also be symbolizing someone with authority, maybe like a business owner, or maybe you are becoming this authority figure that you are actually becoming a center of um, like a certain goal that you're working on. Mm, this can be related to like your career uh, or maybe financial security you're going to get take control over the situation you're going to overcome whatever this hardship is and you're going to become this authority figure here i feel like okay um this can be something that you're struggling right now the solution will be coming your way um this can also be like a spiritual thing that you're going through maybe like um you have like a specific material goal and it's been taking a while that you haven't actually like received the blessings yet the answer doesn't come yet or maybe you're looking for a job but it's not showing up because you might be carrying some things from the past like the past emotions maybe doubt and i see here two people they both have like high horns kind of looks like goat energy uh, this is a devil like that's why i want to interpret this as maybe both parties had this ideas of obsessed thinking maybe they were thinking that they're not good enough they cannot handle this stuff and uh, so but now like they are coming to terms that they can actually do a great job here when it comes to healing this thing and um they're gonna come to realize that okay like i said this can be maybe like a a relationship because the horns both people are wearing horns i also feel like this can be overall your financial situation as well okay you might be having some hard time maybe to catch a breath and like um if you're looking for a job and it's not really working out right now this might be because of this like thinking that you have done a mistake that's another thing what happens is when you keep blaming yourself about a situation until you forgive yourself and accept that that is actually a life lesson now you're moving on to another level it was a necessary stage in your life it doesn't have, it keeps continuing keeps coming uh, following you okay so i feel like there's self-forgiveness also coming forward here for you 
I see there is like a kind of unicorn. You can see the horn of the unicorn when I get closer here, the head and the horn, the tip of the horn right there. Unicorn symbolizes this is actually a wish fulfillment and this wish is something that you're not really seeing coming forward. Okay, you're not really expecting this to happen. This is something that you wanted for a long time, but you didn't think it's possible for you. But now the impossible is beat possible because you are leaving that past resentment, self-resentment behind as well. I see there's a man here kind of wearing a Sherlock Holmes or maybe just like a camper's hat. This can be someone curious, adventurous, and they are leaning on towards another person here. It looks like a male figure with a beard, like this lumber sexual type. And this can be there two people actually coming together, two authorities discussing. One part is maybe material, the other one is spiritual. And this can also be your energies as well, like your masculine side. And they're coming to an agreement to merge their energies. So if you're only thinking from materialistic uh, aspects to make things happen and you feel like the only way to make things happen is like from that aspect, you're actually going to change that course of thinking, okay? As soon as you change it, there's a dog's face right there. The loyalty, the, the loyal spirits are going to show up here for you and they're going to be helping you along the way. And the, the same timeline, you're going to be having that conversation with this person showing up from the past and they might even bring you some good gifts because they're carrying something in their bag, Okay. In your heart space, I see there's a mountain here that you're overcoming. That that's what I feel like. That you have some maybe thinking about something that you feel like blaming yourself, but you're letting go of that. As soon as you do that, have this conversation too. There's a pathway opening. This can be like a vacation. Also, maybe even a legal opportunity. We have a contract here. Maybe more uh, the opportunity to get paid more. And the phone lines are forming here as well. And this can be connecting you with the. Uh, like a right energies i see three shooting stars three different desires that you have will be forming lining up for you and there's a rooster walking down downhill downhill actually indicates that the things when it starts to come through it's going to start to rain the desires are going to start to rain and the rooster is actually your new perspective new day new approach to the situation I see there's like a male figure wearing sunglasses and a hat, also like a long white beard. Kind of reminds me of Sadhguru and there's this guy, I forgot his name, big producer. Now he, he wrote a book called The Creative Act. I forgot his name. Very famous. He works with like Red Hot Chili Peppers and like maybe in the past he worked with Jay-Z and stuff. And he's a very like a Zen type of a personality. He reminds me of that. I forgot his name. But the thing is, this is actually, he's a good encourager. Like when you observe his interviews with his artists he's working with, he encourages them to be creative. Even though he doesn't really have proper like a uh, knowledge of music and art, he is actually a good encourager. So this can be a masculine figure that will show up for you to encourage you to go along and um, your creative act. And so, which will open the new pathways for you, okay? I even see here, this kind of looks like um a green leaf of clover. So it might even bring you good luck when you follow that creative ideas of yours okay creative ideas doesn't have to be specifically about um the creative what we think creative act is uh, like the art can also be related to your work okay and i see there's an old couple here hugging so this can also be like a family coming forth and maybe a soul family coming forward to help you okay Let's get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be for that. Yes. I see in your heart, you don't really have clarity. Maybe there are some questions in your mind that needs to be answered. And that's why it is preventing your desire to come forward. Um, okay. Yep, it's coming. Yeah. As soon as you answer those questions the best way you can they're gonna be 
your desire coming forward. The best way you can doesn't mean that um, you need to know a lot about them. You might have like spiritual questions. Write them down and let the pen pencil to flow and receive the information, that divine information coming through. Okay, you don't have to like um, have a scientific fact as an answer to your questions. Um, even if that like spiritual answer can actually lift up the spirit. I see there's a horseman galloping towards you, but this is not really a fast running running horse. This can be the slowest horse we have is the Taurus Virgo Capricorn Earth Energy. Those, so this can be like a financial security moment for you that you're stepping into. I also see there's another person with like a long hat which symbolizes the authority. But I feel like this is a feminine figure and it's in your heart space. So this can be someone that you're connecting with that is helping you out throughout the journey. Or this can be your feminine side, your creative side that you're getting in touch with better in touch with it okay because it was the part that you buried inside maybe you have been mechanical for a while now you're going to have that creative energy flowing through you okay let's see what your financials and spiritual gifts are coming forward here for you We had the Six of Swords. You're walking away from the situation that doesn't serve you anymore. And you might be feeling with the Eight of Swords here locked behind some uh, closed doors. Or maybe the opportunities are locking you out. But this is something that she's holding on, as you can see. If she drops, it will fall into the water. It's going to go away. Okay? So, um... Even though you're feeling like you're walking away from a drama that doesn't serve you in the workspace or maybe financially you have been struggling. Um, maybe you're keeping yourself behind these locked uh, bars. But this is actually stating that you have the power to change everything, okay? And maybe physically you don't have the power right now. But it's telling you mentally you can start changing the things mentally because the source energy is a mental energy. I also have here the Four of Pentacles. This kind of like a little bit warning here for you. This indicates that you might be actually holding on to the past too hardly, okay? Maybe spending things, your energy, money to the things that doesn't really serve you. But also holding on and not letting go of the things that doesn't serve you anymore, okay, from the past. So it's good to have a balance here. And um, also another thing, advice, because I'm going to say this is like a financial thing as well. If you're overspending your money, it's time to just maybe just watch, being watchful of that. We have the justice card. This is you. This is your energy. So when you're mindful of, you don't have to change the situation, okay? You can be aware that there is a time to move away from uh, choppy waters to calmer shores know that entrapment is in your mind and you are maybe holding on to the past too tightly what has happened in the past that is actually um, blocking you to foresee the future the justice coming forward is telling you it is all coming to an end okay there's going to be a new day coming for you the karma is actually served now it's time to move on to a new day we have ten of wands here ten of wands can be actually indicates like um, maybe hard work maybe even working too much on a subject but at the end of the day whatever that you're working on will be your produce will be your gain okay so uh there might be a timeline coming forward that you need to work a lot towards your goals however at the end i will see you might even be walking into a battlefield seven of swords here and doing things in an unconventional way and changing your strategy after your hard work and that strategy change will be paying off really beautifully we have ten of pentacles here ten of pentacles indicates love also so like if you're manifesting love into your life it is coming forward and it's not going to be only like a happy and emotionally satisfying love it is also going to be financially um in a very comfortable position love okay and the love can be with your family and loved ones generational wealth as well let's see what's showing up as a love reading for you if you are looking for something we have the page of cups 
a new love offer will be coming forward okay because this is intended for sun moon rising and venus signs so the person coming forward they might have if you're cross watching maybe their venus sign can be a libra or maybe your venus sign can be a libra or maybe your sun sign is libra and they can be cancer pisces scorpio and the venus can change like that okay and I have here the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This person is, wants to have romance, but they want to have long-term stability and a long-term relationship as well, maybe even marriage. And they're prepared for it. They're ready. And they're going to come with that, like, um, back, you know, like they have that, uh, that to provide you that love. And uh, this, we, I keep speaking this as like, I'm talking to a feminine character, but this can also be, um, like a masculine relationship for a masculine as well this can be you maybe getting ready being ready for a relationship now maybe you haven't through a lot now it's time for you to feel that readiness okay and we have the temperance energy we have the symbol of eternity here temperance is about like actually symbolizes calm before the storm so it's gonna be a little bit passionate relationship sagittarius energy here fire but it is going to start in very calm, okay? And finally, I have the lovers, perfect love, soulmate connection. This can be even like a healing experience for you because lovers can um, indicate a choice as well as uh, a heal, a healing coming through. Physical healing, emotional healing, maybe you have been going through like emotional hardship and this will be bringing that into your life, okay? And also the temperance and balance as well. But I feel like this is going to be some, like something that you have been manifesting for a while. It has all the good stuff here, okay? Let's see what your astrological oracle says. We have the Ceres. I reap what I saw collecting the fruits of my labor is showing up here for you. So whatever that you are actually um, going through right now, it is, um, you know, coming to an end. And um, your goodwill, good intentions that you have saw, you're going to be reaping that. I also have the eighth house coming forward. This is actually Pluto, Scorpio energy. This is the house of sex, it says. And uh, accept the transition period, period before the union. So this can be, like I said, a person coming from a distance. So maybe you're going to have this time of transition with this person okay it's not going to be right away like you seeing each other every single day it might be like once a month or maybe once in tw like two months but maybe you're going to be speaking day to day it can be like a long distance relationship okay that's how i felt it when i see the before the union this can also be a union with a new job if you're negotiating right now it can be like starting as a freelance or a trial period and the, after that you're going to have the union that you're desiring we have the boundaries here you're learning to the gentle art of setting boundaries and saying no now i'm thinking like i was saying in the beginning that you're maybe going through some things that is undesirable and uh, maybe you have been expecting some things to happen for a long time and it's not really showing up this might be the reason because you're learning to say no okay you're drawing boundaries and that's like if you haven't uh, learned when you're growing up it becomes a little harder because we think like it's like a we're breaking someone else's heart when we say no but the truth is when you're not saying no to the things that you want to say now you're breaking your own heart eventually because um like when you are in that situation maybe you are in a position that you're asking another person to um do something they don't want they will definitely say no okay and we have here heart chakra coming forward. It says with the air element, yang, forgiveness. I forgive myself for my imperfections. Do my best and find contentment with that I am good enough. I recognize my hurts and nurture my inner child with all that she and he needs. I forgive others for their pre preconceptions, judgments, and behaviors, trusting we are all doing our best with our current levels of awareness and patterning and I forgive, okay? That's why maybe that's another situation. Now I'm thinking maybe there is a position that you have been said no and, um, and you're now learning to say no and drawing boundaries. So 
it's not anything nothing is personal everybody's actually living in their own world okay and forgiveness can get you to that uh, desired state that state of uh, abundance faster we have here a message from your spirit guides continue to grow by seeking new knowledge we applaud your efforts that's the message coming forward here so if you're in a situation or maybe if you want to even manifest a new job maybe that might require you new knowledge here and this is actually uh, encouraging you to go after that okay this can be about healing as well all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye